welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, press that red subscribe button down below and press the bell so you don't miss a thing, your girl post. So today I wanted to come to you guys and just do a recap of 2019 and go over the highs, the lows, some things that I may have learned and just what I'm looking forward to in 2020. I've been saying 2020 is the year of perfect vision, 2020 vision, like perfect vision, like the year of expectancy. I'm expecting great things, period. So I'll just start off with saying that 2019 was a year for your girl. Like it was like a slam dunk year for me like so many great things happened so to start off i went to settlement on my house i moved into my house y'all finally that was amazing and something i was looking forward to for a long time moved into my house i graduated with my master's degree two degree shawty <laughs> i also got a new job which was just supernatural and something that i was believing for when i did the fast in the beginning of 2019 and god is just so good so right there moved into my home graduated with my master's received a new job with higher pay closer to home so many pros i also traveled multiple times i went to costa rica miami California, California twice. Was that it? I think that might be it. I went to a lot of great places with a lot of great people. I may be missing a few places. Oh, I went to London. Went to the UK. That was amazing. Seen the Eiffel Tower. Got to live in my uncle's world in another country. So I went so many places with, and I went with great people. I went with new people that I'm usually don't go away with. Like I went away with my dad. I went away with my older sister. I went away with my uncles, new friends. It just was awesome. And just super blessed that I was able to travel and go all over. What else great happened this year? So many like awesome things happened this year. So many highs. Oh. I got my first wig, y'all. Now I'm a two-wig shawty. <laughs> Listen, I've been plotting on this wig, and my friends know. I've been talking about a wig for forever, and I finally got I probably talked about a wig for over a year. Like, seriously, was plotting on it. Got my first wig, y'all. I sold my first piece of merchandise, my shirts, and there'll be more to come in 2020, but, like, kind of, like, started up that my sort of business which was awesome my youtube channel has grown awesome so like so many so many highs to 2019 as far as some lows and some trials and tribulations that i hit my neighbor yes i moved into this great magnificent house and i have it looking so cute feeling so homely and just so good but the spirit next door god has worked on her though thank you jesus but she has been a low to my year, but, but God has brought me through that storm, okay? So she has been a problem, but we got through it. I lost my beautiful camera. Well, my beautiful I didn't lose my beautiful camera. My camera left me and just went for a dive in the ocean, but we got a new one. Um, lost my Apple Watch, but only for it to be replaced by the newest series. I left that at security when i was going through tsa and stuff to catch my plane but got a new one and these aren't like super big lows but like these are lows that like affected me okay i got into like a minor car accident and that was a whole thing uh but i'm okay i think i told you guys about it i did tell you guys about it if you watched like a vlog that i talked about it in but i got into like a small car accident and had to get things fixed but that's annoying who wants to just pay out of pocket for something that could have been avoided and i'm sure there were other lows and other things that happened but listen i don't harp over those things i get through them and use them for my victory okay use them to help me excel and do better than before so with that being said and like as i was like writing out my goals for 2020 i was just like dang and like i even talked to a few people i'm like so many big things happened for me in 2019 like that year was like amazing how do i even begin to write my goals for 2020 
like how how do i do better like how how do i go higher and it's like in church it's just been this thing like god is going to do like more than we can ever think or imagine for the faithful ones like he is going to do us so good this coming year and i'm trying to be one of those faithful ones that's getting all these blessings like the blessings that the faithful ones are going to get is not even something we can think about like that's how good it's gonna be so i'm trying to think of like what was better than the things that like happened for me in 2019 like how do i even begin to write them down or think about them for 2020 so it's hard for me writing down my goals and i'm just like like i said after i talked to some people they're like it's okay like you can have small goals you can have a lot of small goals like those goals that you meet although they're small like they're still things that you want to accomplish and things that you want to get done and once you do achieve them it's going to be great like you're going to feel good about it because i'm just like i don't have any big things like i'm not going back to school yet so it's not gonna have a graduation coming up i just moved into my house so it's not gonna be in a house so that was just like a little thing that like i was thinking about and kind of was bothering me a little bit because i didn't know what to write down for my goals but i did pray about it and talk to some people about it and I got to like oh like i could do this oh i could do that like oh i'm believing for this i'm believing for that let me write this down so if you're like struggling with writing goals if you haven't written your goals yet it's not too late to write your goals and it's never like too late to add to your goals like even when you start to accomplish and check off your goals throughout the year it's never too late to add to your goals but if you haven't wrote them down like it's not too late to write them down write them down and even if you think you've accomplished like so much in 2019 prior years like you can always do better there's always room for improvement there's always like more to do and more to make yourself better and more to like level yourself up whether that be starting a new business or enhancing your business you already have or just small things around your house if you want to get like projects done like if you want to work on designing a room painting a room buying furniture for here adding something to the backyard getting a gate or if it's a car like if you're believing for a car or if you're believing to pay off your car next okay if you're believing to pay off your car if you're believing to pay some debt down or pay some debt off like all of those are great goals they seem real regular like that's nothing that you're like you want to run up and like tell everybody but like yeah it is like that's a part of your goal and if you're happy about it and that's something that you're believing for and that you're trying to achieve and it's not something that you can just do tomorrow in the snap of your fingers it's something you want to work towards and something that you're believing for like that's a big goal and i had to like get that in me like although it might not seem astronomical to somebody else it's still that small goal can still be big to me like that's something i want to get accomplished that i haven't been able to get accomplished yet so that's all i'm um, here today for y'all is to just give my recap of how great God has been to me and although I went through some lows like I use them for my good and to just be better and to learn from them and that although I had so many great things happen for me in 2019 there is things that are gonna I can't even think or imagine that are gonna blow my mind in 2020 even though I don't probably don't even have all of them written down and i can't even think about it but I'm, I'm just expecting and i just know and it's just gonna be crazy like it's gonna be like what wait what i'm gonna be like swimming in it like so just stay tuned y'all and i am one thing i'm believing for and i'm sharing with the squad by squad gang gang is that this squad is gonna grow we're gonna grow and we're gonna do some great things this year y'all i have so much in store for the channel it's gonna be popping and we're gonna have a lot of fun this year okay so happy new year's guys i hope you guys have a phenomenal new year i hope that you are overwhelmed with blessings and that anything that tries to get in your way you're able to tackle it and just come out on top because there are going to be some things that try to get in your way this year however we not gonna let them take us down period point blank period love you guys make sure you continue to be the light all 2020 be the light wherever you go because wherever you go the light shall fall